Hey, you're listening to the Riverdale Podcast. This is episode number 86. My name is Jonathan. Welcome to lovely Riverdale, USA. This is a weekly Archie Comics fan podcast. We update every Saturday morning, and every week we break things down into four categories. The first category is the book of the week. It's a comic book I read this week. Sometimes it's a new comic book. Sometimes it's an old comic book, but it's always an Archie comic book. We move then to the news of the week. That's what happened in the world of Archie in the week since our last podcast. Then on to new releases. That's what came out this past Wednesday. We'll be coming up this coming Wednesday from Archie Comics. And we're going to wrap things up today with a listener email. That's what the show looks like this week. Uh, Much shorter show than last week. Uh, Got some good feedback about last week. I'm glad you folks liked it. I was a little worried that the show was too long. But everybody seemed to hang with it and like it. So that's rad. Um, And enough babbling. Let's get on to the book of the week. This week's book of the week is Betty and Veronica, number 268. This is the final story in this current run of storybook stories. This is Betty and Veronica in Reggie Stillskin, based, of course, on Rumple Stillskin, which is not unlike some of the other classics of uh, fairy tales, storybook stories that they've been doing. Um, I had forgotten the plot of the original, so I don't know how much this varies. I mean, I know there's two main female leads instead of one main female lead to uh, make room for both Betty and Veronica in the story. But aside from that, uh, I guess I have to go back and learn a little bit more about my fairy tales. But, as I said, this is the final issue in this five-part series of storybooks. And uh, I I really couldn't be more thrilled <laughs> that we're through this. Um, they have been fun. They have been interesting. Uh, I can't say enough good things about Jeff Schultz's art throughout. Uh, this arc has reintroduced Jeff Schultz to the Betty and Veronica title. And if that is its legacy, fantastic. But uh, as I've said in the past... These books, uh, these stories aren't necessarily my favorites, and frankly, they're not written or drawn for me. So uh, it is up to me as the Archie fan to uh, read it or not read it, and I choose to read it and uh, pick out the things that I like and talk about them with you. I'm excited that next month we're going to be back in Riverdale, and then I believe early next year we're launching into that new storyline with Michael Usland and Dan Parent, uh, the the big adventure overseas that we've talked about in uh, past episodes. So, uh, enough about the future of the book. Let's talk about the present of the book, Betty and Veronica in Reggie Stillskin. This is number 268. The fun for me in these issues has been seeing the ways that they recast the Riverdale kids. Uh, and the the various citizens of Riverdale into these storybooks. And uh, I, I got to give it up to Dan Parent. The brilliant of, brilliance of Reggie Stillskin is fantastic. Rumble Stillskin is, of course, this sort of troublemaking little, uh, little imp of a person. And uh, Reggie's perfect for that. And uh, Jeff Schultz does a fantastic job of rendering Reggie Stillskin as this little version of of Reggie. He's got those same conniving facial features. And it really does still look like Reggie, despite the fact that he's sort of shrunken down and he's got this little beard and everything. And the casting of Cheryl Blossom as the Evil Queen, of course, perfect. And uh, we get a little cameo by, I, I believe it's Moose and Kevin as the palace guards. That's super fun. And, uh, I mean, the the general plot is the, the general plot of uh, Rumpelstiltskin. So I won't get into that too much, spoiler alerts and all that. But we do get, this was the exciting moment for me, was a little cameo, spoiler alert, uh, a little cameo by Josie and the Pussycats. Valerie and Josie 
and Melody. And I don't know if I've ever seen these characters drawn by Jeff Schultz, but they look fantastic. Uh, in my mind, and I've said this before, uh, Jeff Schultz is really the the closest to that classic Dan DiCarlo house style that uh, that we all know and love. And seeing him render Josie with her classic uh, 60s hairdo is just fantastic. But uh, by the end of the book, uh, goodness and love prevails, as we always like to see it. And uh, we're left with uh, the classic Riverdale love triangle establishing itself here in this fairy tale realm, as it always does. It's uh, sort of the the end result of getting these three characters together in any setting. They're always going to end up in this this funny love triangle. And we end with a little bit of a, uh, a, a moment between Valerie and Archie, which is cool. I love little bits of continuity and things like that. Like I, I love seeing Archie and Valerie together and having that be a continuing through line between the, uh, through the books. And it's cool to see that relationship break its way even into this, uh, this storybook story here. And, uh, I guess, I guess that's it. Um, like I said, this, uh, this five issue run has not been my favorite thing. Uh, but I love to see Jeff Schultz. I think Dan Parent's done a great job with the scripts. Again, not targeted at me, so uh, I'm definitely not uh, uh, not picking any fights with it. It is what it is. I've had a fun time reading them. I am glad that we are headed back to Riverdale with the next issue. But that is our pick of the week this week, Betting Veronica, number 268. <laughs> All right, in Archie news this week, we had a couple of video interviews with Dean Haspiel. Dean Haspiel is, of course, the mastermind behind the Fox series, which you'll be seeing next week. We'll be talking about that like crazy next week, I assume. And uh, yeah, over at Newsarama and over at Comic Book Resources, they each had a very similar looking uh, interviews from these sky boxes above the floor of New York Comic Con, which happened just uh, about a week ago, a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, recently. <laughs> anyway, um, and I generally try to only bring up interviews that, that have happened if we get interesting information out of them. And uh, the one over at Newsarama was uh, the most interesting to me because... He mentions, uh, Dean mentions that it's going to be a five-issue mini. Now, I don't know if that's been discussed anywhere else. And I'm not sure if it's already been pushed into being a uh, uh, an ongoing series. But uh, I thought that was an interesting bit of information. He also talked a bit about the, the fact that it is tied in with the continuity of the existing New Crusaders. Um, he does get a little spoilery about the first issue. I, uh, I I almost shut it off because I was <laughs> worried about spoiling it, but he does mention a number of things that tie directly into last year's New Crusaders: Rise of the Heroes. So that's really really rad. I didn't realize that it was going to be within that continuity as tightly as it is. So I'm really really excited about that, and hopefully these five issues will run into next year's uh, New Crusaders Dark Tomorrow, and maybe the Fox will show up in that. I don't know. This is all speculation, but I'm excited about that. Um, so check out those interviews at Newsarama and Comic Book Resources with Dean Hasfield. Also this week, uh, I don't know if it's news, but it sure was fun. Over at hubworld.com, they have posted a little uh, web browser game to uh, coincide with the Sabrina Secrets of a Teenage Witch series. And it's basically like a little static image of Sabrina on a broomstick, and you sort of move her around and try to pick up these uh, stars and shimmery things and whatnot. I had a ridiculously nice time playing it, which is why I brought it up. Uh, it's a, a very low-skill game and very simple, and it just gets faster. That's the, the only uh, appreciable difference between levels. 
But I had a nice time playing that for sure. Also this week, I wanted to comment briefly on the passing of Lou Scheimer. Lou Scheimer uh, passed away earlier this week, I guess late last week, actually. And he was the uh, the man behind Filmation Studios. And Filmation Studios is pertinent to this conversation in that Filmation produced all of those great Archie cartoons that ran from 1969 to 1979 in, in different incarnations and in different forms. And it's really difficult to talk about the history of Archie comics without bringing up those cartoons. That was uh, those cartoons and then consequently those songs and the, the, the images of Archie were really kept alive in the public eye by those, those cartoons. And, um, I guess, uh, I mean, I mean, without Lou Scheimer, that doesn't happen without Lou Scheimer, without Filmation Studios. I don't know if Archie is still around right now. I don't know. It's certainly, uh, a, a very different thing without Lou Scheimer's involvement. That's for sure. And, uh, and and Lou Scheimer did a, a a million other amazing things. It's definitely worth uh, looking him up and reading about him. But Filmation Studios was also responsible for Fat Albert, for He Man and the Masters of the Universe, a number of things, uh, innumerable animated series throughout the the sixties, seventies, and eighties. So uh, uh, you know, respect and uh, condolences to his family. And uh, if you have a moment this week, read one of the many, many uh, tributes to Lou Scheimer that are all over the internet. His work meant a lot to a lot of different people. So I, I wanted to acknowledge that this week. And that is the news of the week. We have uh, Dean Haspiel's interviews over at Newsarama and Comic Book Resources. We have that fun Sabrina game over at Hubworld.com. And we are acknowledging the uh, uh, unfortunate passing of Lou Scheimer this week. New releases. New releases for this past Wednesday, the 23rd. It's a whopping list. Are as follows. Archie and Friends Double Digest number 32 for $3.99. The Book of the Week. Betty and Veronica number 268 for 2.99 be on the lookout for the variant cover i managed to grab that the uh traditional cover is done by dan parent and the variant cover is done by stephanie busima and it's really really rad it's a it's a golden book style it's cool you'll know it when you see it uh also this week betty and veronica friends double digest number 236 for 3.99 mega man number 30 for 2.99 sonic universe number 57 for 2.99 World of Archie Double Digest number thirty three for three ninety nine. Also this week we got Archie the Married Life Volume Four trade paperback for nineteen ninety nine. And Betty and Veronica Princess Storybook for nine ninety nine. Coming up next week, next Wednesday, October the thirtieth, we're going to get Archie number six forty nine. Looking forward to this one. This is a uh, uh, Bill Galvin drawn story written by Tom DeFalco I believe it's a cool magical Harry Potter-ish looking story I haven't looked into it too much but I'm excited about Archie 649 next week for 299 also next week as we talked about before The Fox number one for 299 again variant covers for that I think we have a couple covers by uh, Dean Haspiel we've got a Darwin Cook cover we've got a Fiona Staples cover so if you are if you're in a position where you uh, have multiple covers to choose from, good luck. Uh, they all look great. Um, I think that's going to be a great book. I think we're going to talk about that in depth next week. Also, next week, on October the 30th, we're going to get Sonic the Hedgehog, number 245, for two ninety nine. Also next week, the Archie Comics Spectacular, It's a Date, trade paperback for five ninety nine. These are cool, interesting collections. The print size is a little bit bigger than the regular digests, but uh, uh, a little bit lower page count, I believe 128 pages. Uh, but they're cool themed collections 
That is five ninety nine. I'll be on the lookout for that. I really like those spectacular collections. Looks like no big releases over in the digital store this week, but uh, that is going to do it for new releases. Those are the your new releases for this past Wednesday, the twenty third. This coming Wednesday, the thirtieth, and uh, no new big digital releases this week from Archie. <laughs> All right, and finally today, got a message from a listener I wanted to share with you guys. This came in uh, this week from Terry. Terry says, Hi, Jonathan. I want to tell you I like the panel format on the most recent episode of the podcast you used for the Sabrina animated show. Have you ever thought of using some of the other Archie fans people? I think they would be fascinating. Frankly, I love hearing about their lives on the forum. That what did you do today topic is worthy of Studs Terkel. Anyway, just a thought. Hope you're well. In response, Terry, first of all, thank you very much. Um, I'm glad you liked the roundtable-y kind of discussion. Um, I'm hoping to have more of those in the future. There are certainly a, a few people who I'm going to uh, go to about conversations like that in the future. I think that's a lot of fun. And in some cases, can be even more interesting than an interview to just get a few of the fans um, giving their perspective and stuff. So that's definitely on the table. Um, also, I had to look up who Studs Turkle was. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. And uh, you should all look him up too. <laughs> because um, I had to take a moment and be like, is that like an internet meme thing? But no, he's a, a very famous broadcaster um, of whom I'm completely ignorant. Um, but yeah, I would love to have, uh, to answer your question, Tara, I would love to have more folks from the Archie fans community in a broad sense and more people from archiefans.com, the, uh, uh, the discussion board that he's talking about. Um, and you're right, the what did you do today thread is fantastic. Um, if you guys are not over at archiefans.com talking about the new releases as they come out and uh, different trends in, in, in comics and, and uh, being part of that conversation, you definitely should. I have not been spending as much time there as I should there's good stuff and good folks there. So, Terry, I hope I answered your question. Um, thanks so much for writing in, and thanks for listening. I really, really, really appreciate it. A great way to help out the show is to listen every week. A great way to help out the show is to write an email like Terry did. Uh, ask a question. Give some feedback. Uh, a great way to help out is to leave an iTunes review in the iTunes store. And uh, another great way to help out the show is to head over to RiverdalePodcast.com and click that link for TFA Things from Another World. This is a big, beautiful, expansive comic book store at your fingertips. And uh, we have a great offer with them where when you click that link and order anything from their site, I get a little percentage of that, and that helps to keep the show going. So if you're buying comics online, you can do so through things from another world and uh the show will get a little piece of that so uh head over there order your copy of the art of archie covers that brand new hardcover you'll get a discount on that get it for just 26.99 lots of great deals lots of overstock stuff lots of backstock stuff lots of nick and dent books uh beautiful looking books that have slight imperfections I've ordered a number of the great Archie hardcovers from them through their, their Nick and Dent sales, and they come in looking beautiful. Over in their Nick and Dent store right now, you can get Adventures of Little Archie, Volume 2, for four ninety seven half price. That's that great old Bob Bowling, Little Archie stuff. Also, the Archie Giant Kids Joke Book. You can pick that up in the Nick and Dent section of the website for just three forty nine. Lots of great stuff there. All different comics, statues, posters, uh, whatever you want, whatever uh, you can get from your regular comic shop, you can get from things from another world. And uh, we get a piece of the action when you head over to RiverdalePodcast.com and click on that link. It takes you right over to the site. On the way out, I want to remind everyone to head over to RiverdalePodcast.com. There you're going to see the great Dan Parent cover for this week's book of the week, Betty Veronica number 268. You'll also find links 
to like the show on Facebook, facebook.com slash Riverdale Podcast. You'll find a link there to follow the show on Twitter. That is at Riverdale Pod. You'll find a link there to subscribe on iTunes, get new episodes delivered every Saturday morning. You'll find a link there to uh, send us an email. Send us an email at Riverdale Podcast at yahoo.com with uh, any questions or comments, any ideas for the show, anything you want to see coming up, uh, interviews you want to hear, uh, send me an email, Riverdale Podcast at yahoo.com. The Riverdale Podcast is part of the First Comics News family. Head over to firstcomicsnews.com. Lots of great stuff going up there every day. Uh, Reviews, convention coverage, uh, a bunch of other podcasts. Firstcomicsnews.com. I guess that's going to do it for this week. Um, A short one, definitely a short one compared to last week. But uh, thanks for sticking around. Uh, Get excited for the Fox next week. Um, but I have the feeling that uh, Archie 649 is going to have to be kind of incredible to uh, to Trump discussing Fox for the book of the week next week. But we'll wait and see. I will read them both, uh, and I will be back next Saturday to let you know what I thought. So that's going to do it for this week. Thanks so much for listening, you guys. I really appreciate it. Again, my name is Jonathan, and I'll see you again next week here in lovely Riverdale, USA. <laughs>